Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. So guys, today in this video we are going to cover up the rest of the portion from the topic lattice vibrations. I have uh, already uploaded the two videos related to the lattice vibration topic. So if you have not watched those videos, you can check them. And we have done the discussion about the monoatomic lattice as well as the 1D diatomic lattice. There we have discussed the dispersion relation and now we are going to talk about the graph we are going to get in the lattice vibration in the 1D diatomic lattice. So already in the previous video I have provided you the expressions for dispersion relation and even corresponding to different cases. That means when k will be tending to 0, k will be small, k will be uh, equal to uh, plus minus pi by a that means the boundary of the first brilliant zone okay so all these cases we have considered and their corresponding expressions we have discussed in the previous video which was about the lattice vibrations okay now let's talk about the type of graph you will get in the uh, lattice vibrations which we are considering in the 1d diatomic lattice case there we are going to have two different modes uh, one is optical another one is acoustical mode okay or acoustical branch so how you are going to get the graph in this case let's talk about that so here we are going to have the omega and k axis which we are going to show done this is the k axis which we are taking on the x axis itself and this is omega done now here you are going to get the type of graph like this and like this what it is showing you we'll talk about it like exactly you need to take the symmetric graph both the sides similarly here you will get the graph in this way like you can consider then just the opposite done something like this and this gap or difference both the sides must be equal okay so it will be same right now you can see that it's just not exactly equal so i should make it here somewhere here done so that this distance will be same like the other side done now next point i'm telling you this thing so that if you are making such type of graph you should make it exactly same that this distance and this distance must be same now guys this is what we have discussed the acoustical and the optical modes so acoustical mode or the branch will be the branch that when you are taking the value of k as zero at that value of k when it is equal to zero the value of omega will be zero okay when k is equal to zero and you are getting omega is equal to zero as well this is what this is acoustical mode okay this is acoustical mode so which one will be the acoustical the lower one or the upper one the lower one because you can see that the omega value at k is equal to zero is zero here in this branch done so it's just a kind of v shape you are going to get now so this is what this is acoustical branch done and this will be which one the optical branch because in the optical case the omega will not be equal to zero even when you are taking k is equal to zero okay now if we are going to talk about the next point the next point is that here the maximum value which you are getting for the uh, group velocity okay that was root 2c upon m2 or that will be root 2c upon m2 but in this case in the optical branch it will be root 2c upon m1 what is m1 here m1 is the lighter atoms mass and m2 is the heavier atoms mass done if we are going to talk about the another point here this value of omega which is at the peak that will be equal to root 2c 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon m2 done so this is what this is you are going to get the omega max in case of optical uh, branch or optical mode but when i'm going to talk about the frequency gap so you need to find the frequency gap between both the branches okay so frequency gap will be equal to root 2c upon m1 minus root 2c upon m2 you may expect the question from the frequency gap point and you have to answer it so you should know about the maxima and the minimum values or exactly what is the gap between these two values you are going to get okay so this value you are getting here okay for the optical branch which is root 2c upon m1 and for the acoustical you are going to have this value equal to root 2c upon m2 and the gap between both the frequencies or uh, the like you have got the group velocity 
okay in this case so the value you will have for the frequency gap between both that will be root 2c upon m1 minus root 2c upon m2 similarly if we are going to talk about the bandwidth now there are two different things one i have considered the frequency gap now i'm going to talk about the bandwidth now what is this bandwidth let's talk about it see for the optical branch and for the acoustical branch you will have the different bandwidths if i'm going to talk about the optical branch in the optical branch case what is the value of omega you are having the highest or the maximum value this one and what is the lowest one that is this one so maximum minus minimum that's going to be your band gap similarly if we are going to talk about the acoustical branch maximum that is root 2c upon m2 minus 0 so that will be the bandwidth for the acoustical branch so that's how you can find it easily and i hope each and every point will be clear to all of you that how you will find the frequency gap how you will get the bandwidth and what are the steps you have to take for that okay now guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope all these important points will be clear to all of you also uh, here i am going to provide you the information about the anacademy plus subscription but before that even if you are new on this channel that is mission net physics exam then you can subscribe this channel okay and click on the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos i will provide you on this channel that is mission net physics exam also guys if your friends are preparing for the exam you can share the video with your friends too because all the videos which i am providing you on this channel will be helpful for all of you to prepare very well for your upcoming csir net physics exam gate physics exam and all other physics phd entrance exams too also guys there are going to be so many anacademy plus courses which are going on on anacademy plus and there will be many new courses which will start soon so if you want to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on anacademy plus for your upcoming csir net physics exam preparation then you can take the anacademy plus subscription also by using and by applying the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here by using and by applying this referral code you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total anacademy plus subscription amount now uh, you just need to write it as it is no space in between spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total anacademy plus subscription amount also guys there are going to be many special classes okay like the new series which we will have for this month okay uh, that will be for the upcoming month for october the that's going to be about the forget me not tricks okay and the dates when we will have these sessions are 1st 2nd 6th 7th 8th and 13th october then also we are going to have another free live uh, session series that's about top 50 questions for csir net exam and the date when you will have the sessions in this series that will be on 14th 15th 28th 21st 27th and 28th also the timing will be 1 o'clock okay so don't miss these sessions attend all of them also there are going to be many new anacademy plus courses which are going to start soon like the crash course which is going to be a batch course and many new revision courses will start soon so that's how guys you will be able to get like many important points uh with all these sessions and the courses and to attend more regular live classes well structured and the well planned courses you can take the anacademy plus subscription also by using and by applying the referral code anshli arora you can get the 10% discount in the total anacademy plus subscription amount if anybody is going to take the anacademy plus subscription right now even now you will get so many benefits with it and you will be able to prepare very well for your upcoming exam so guys i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you and uh, if you are new on this channel you can subscribe this channel that is mission net physics exam thank you everyone